Alright, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new episode here on Firebox Breaks. And for this one, we've got some pretty cool content because we have mail that's come to us all the way from Barrie, Ontario by way of our good friend Steve from For The Pulls. And I opened it up just out of the packs and I see some goodies. First of all, we've got this box right there. It is a bonus box. Blaster box there with FYER for fire. And the Oilers emblem in the center. We also have this, the Top Stadium Club 2022 Baseball Blaster Box there. I believe that was won by way of the Spinach Hunt or the Goose Chase. Now, I'm not sure where I finished off, but I did happen to pull some pretty cool cards and an awesome relic in my video for that day on March 1st. Now, there were a lot of channels in there. It was awesome, and I look forward to 2024. So, we are going to save this for now, and I will open that up on a separate video, perhaps some baseball flavor in the future. But let's just put that off to the side because I have a feeling there's going to be some awesome content right here, perhaps some fire, some flames. You know it. And what else does it say? I had some Oilers cards for you I was planning on sending anyways. And that's pretty cool. And here we are. Congratulations, Fire, on winning a prize from Spinach and Goose Hunt Day number two. Have a great day. And what else? Oh, here we are. We've got Goose Universe. So hashtag Goose Universe. And that right there is Susan the Goose. So that is awesome. That is pretty cool. So to fire from For the Pulls, as you see right there. So I just had to make sure we've got every bit of this box showcased. So here we are. We're going to open it up and see what we find. Well, we've got some awesome content already. Looks to be a stack, a brick of some cards in top loaders. And we also have, so that is now an empty box. That's pretty cool. That'll definitely get some shine in the studio. So we have some 91-92 hockey there. 91-92 OP cheese. Is there gum in there? Yes, there is. And we also have 90-91. Wow, some gum in there as well. That would be pretty cool for Mashup Monday. So I wonder if I should save one of those. And here we are, MVP 2022-2023. Oh, we skipped a card there. 2018-19 MVP. And we've got the Slapshot 1995-1995-96 OHL hockey cards there. Now that's pretty solid. I am tempted to save those for a future video, but here we are. Why don't we just save that? Perhaps we'll get there. But I am curious to open this, so I'm going to start with this. As for the polls had mentioned, we have some Oilers content in there. And of course, you know I'm a big Oilers fan. So let's start that off. Start the video off with some Oilers, some Oilers content. Getting a little excited there and almost mispronounced the Oilers. But here we are. We'll leave that. Oh, looks to be some threads there. So uh, you, you have to you have to enjoy when other channels they put together racks, things of that nature. They always put the painter's tape and some packaging, well packaged. But here we are. Let's start off with this one here. Wow. So we do have Alish Hemsky from Pinnacle right there, a blue swatch. And that one is pretty cool. I definitely enjoy that card. And 83 was one of my favorite players back in the day, of course, in the late 90s, early 2000s. I mean, it was tough times, troubled waters for the Oilers, but Alish Hemsky was one heck of a player. Here we are, we've got Game Worn Gear as well, and that is Sam Gagne, Red Swatch Titanium. That there is pretty solid, so it's upside down here, but perhaps you want to read that in your leisure, so press pause and read that. I'll check that out later, or right now. Let me just bring this up to my actual eyes, not the glasses. The veteran was a key player for the Oilers during the team's struggles with injuries in 2011-2012, so 
that's pretty cool yes so pretty solid lineup coming into the fold and we have Taylor Hall stitches wow I do not have any swatches of Taylor Hall so that's uh, the first and as you know I was hunting the OPG rookie card in past videos did not get it and we have game worn gear again Ryan Whitney so another black swatch there or a royal blue so the Oilers did go through some changes in the jersey there and that was pretty solid all right, so a little bit of right up there. So press pause and let's bring the Taylor Hall one back. And that is game worn or game use hockey memorabilia. So that's pretty solid. All right, what else do we have here? We have a Taylor Hall. That would be from one of the inserts. Very foil heavy. So that's pretty cool. Shining stars. All right. Put that one off to the side there. And we have Grant Fear. Heroes and Prospects. So there we are. Spruce Grove, Alberta, not too far from Edmonton, a suburb of that city. For those of you who are not aware of the geography of Edmonton. And we have Reflections, Leon Dreisidel. Boom, another solid hit there. Or card in the rack. Evan Bouchard, Authentics. This one is not the numbered variety, but definitely pretty cool. I've got the jersey swatch of his card. Ryan McLeod, Rookie Renditions. And we've got Before and After, Connor McDavid. Now, I do not have the MVP card. Now, I do. So, thank you there. For the Pulls. So, if you're not subscribed to For the Pulls, definitely go over to that channel. I'm going to put the link in my description, of course. Here we are. League Leaders, Connor McDavid. Opeachy. And that is a pretty cool card. Retro there, I believe. Or one of the... Designs for the award winners. And we have more. Connor McDavid, Connor McJesus, the ice in the veins. Now these are pretty cool. Ice in their veins from Parker's. So, wow. I tried my luck at some Parker's. Did not get those cards, though. And this is the Phenoms card from the clear cut of Tim Hortons, I believe. And that would be, yes, would say Phenoms there. And that's a pretty solid card. And very well sought after in the Tim Hortons variety. Anytime there is a Connor McDavid card, well, that is the Chase card. And we've got the blue parallel of Leon Dreisaitl from SMU, Skybox Metal Universe. Pretty cool. And we've got the rookie gear. This is Justin Schultz from Titanium. One point, highly coveted and highly touted rookie. Definitely forego his draft team and waited to sign with the Oilers. And now it's pretty solid. But I think the uh, lack of veteran presence that chased some of our rookies away without developing, without developing them in the proper format. So Jordan Eberle and Ryan Nugent Hopkins there. Tundra, tandra, uh, tundra Tandems Artifacts. Dual Jersey. That is pretty solid. So let's press pause there if you want to read it. And that one would be game used memorabilia as well. Wow. Boom. So Jordan Eberle, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Taylor Hall, Lena Solmark, and of course Magnus Pajarvi Svensson were supposed to be the players that were going to write the ship after the decade of darkness. But obviously we know what happened with that. Taylor Hall went south and... The rest is history as well as some of the other players. Poyarvi was traded, I believe, to Ottawa or signed as a free agent. And Omark went back to the European leagues. MVP, why don't we open this up and maybe one of the other um, designs as well, perhaps the 2018-19. And we've got Jamie Oleksiak right there. Thatcher Demko. Chris Kreider, we've got Shane Gosses Bear, Ice Battles, MVP. And we've got Lucas Raymond, that is the checklist, but Lucas Raymond is a pretty solid hit. Dougie Hamilton there. All right, so that's pretty cool. No puzzle backs. No, nope. have to check that off camera. And I think we're solid. So here we are. MVP, 2018-19. And we're going to try for one of those checklists, or not the checklist, the... Credentials. I don't think we have one here, but that doesn't mean we don't have something awesome. Derek, Bres Derek Brassard, OEL, 
Sam Reinhardt, Logan Couture, and Anders Lee right there. So not too bad for the MVP. No puzzle back either there. And what else do we have? I think we're doing good for time. Maybe I'll save these two here. Let me open up some vintage. We'll go with the Upper Deck 91-92 or the 95-96. Yes, we'll open that. We'll save those other three for some mashup Mondays. Perhaps get some gum. Some gum tasting challenges on that if I pull a major rookie card. So we have the Oshawa Generals. This player there. Adam Fleming, I believe, there. Very tough to read. Dave McQueen, head coach. We have Dave Birkenholder. Ryan Sly, I believe. And that would be Dean... Uh, is that Manto or it's hard to read this font here Mando I believe yep Mandalorian so here we are we've got Jackman there Mike Sim and we've got well let's bring that back up there Mike Sim looking pretty disgruntled perhaps not wanting to go to a certain team or what have you but sometimes those photos are not well they don't age well, in other words. So here we are, Darvis, and we've got a branch. So there we are. That's pretty cool. I mean, this is how they look in the back. Pretty simple. More of the 90s, mid-90s design. Sort of like a yearbook. But, uh, I mean, at that point in time, it's probably state-of-the-art. Okay, so it's been determined. I'm going to save these two right here for later. Those will go in a future break. But let's end off on this 91-92. We might pull some vintage rookie cards from this particular series. And let's give it a whirl. Let's see what we can find and go from there. Brian Mullen. We have Al McKinnis, booming slap shot. Rod Langway there. And we've got Brian Leach, the international competition, I think the Canada Cup there. Dougie Gilmore. We have a Robert Cron. And let's go this way. So we've got Alexei Kovalev. That was a pretty cool card there. Highly touted back in the day. We have, not going to pronounce that name there, Luke Richardson, the Edmonton Oilers, of course, the mojo there. And Wayne Gretzky. Now that is a pretty solid hit right there. That is one of the triple exposures. And that there is going to be the showcase card why not? Put that there. Tom Draper. And we end off with Frederick Olison. But the Wayne Gretzky right there. That is going to be one of the hit cards. And all of these stacks that were sent by Steve at For the Pulls. Awesome card content. This was a very cool rack. I mean... Nothing more needs to be said. That was awesome. You definitely exceeded expectations. Not that I had any uh, on terms in terms of the meter stick because you definitely always deliver when it comes to your racks. I've seen other videos. You bring the fire. You supply the fire. And how ironic that you brought the fire to Firebox Breaks here. So I'm very thankful for that. And we're going to do that Stadium Club at a future video plus those older vintage wax card packs so the wayne gretzky the hit of the break here so thank you again for the polls definitely go over there and press a like click on that subscribe button let them know that firebox breaks has sent you there and you will not be disappointed so we'll leave it there like comment and subscribe for the good stuff and as always i'll be back with more content in the near future until then bye for now